Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allemteni ve allimni bima yanfa'ni ve zidni ilmen innekel alimul hakim. My topic today is about renal calculi ultrasound. How to diagnose by ultrasound and what are the pitfalls in diagnosis of renal stones. Here, this is a sagittal view of the kidney showing hyperechoic fossae with posterior shadowing. And these are stones, renal stones. As we said, and the renal calculi seen as echogenic areas with sharp distal acoustic shadowing. Sometimes small renal calculi may be difficult to detect if they have posterior acoustic weak posterior acoustic accord, shadowing. The trade of between tissue penetration and resolution should be considered in this and and when selecting a bulb frequency with appropriate zones applied to maximize, maximize the signal shadowing. Harmonic imaging should be also routinely used, particularly in the obese patient. The application of Doppler ultrasound may be involve the detection of small stones minim with minimally shadowing. Most urinary tract stones, about 83% show color and double sonographic twinkling artifacts. And this artifact also depends on the composition of a stone as we will see in the next example. So this is hyperechoic shadow with echogenicity with posterior shadowing and the posterior shadowing should be sharp and if we compare it with shadowing from the gas will be call it dirty shadowing. Here this is another stone with minimal dilatation of the calicial system in this transverse cut and here what we see in the uh, twinkling artifact and here this is the small stone with weak shadowing and here this is the twinkling artifact help us in detecting that stone so the twinkling artifact it is as we said it is good indicator for helping us to detect a stone especially the small stone and weak shadowing. What are the entities that mimic the renal calculi? Intra-renal gas and we, as we said, the gas will give us uh, dirty shadowing. Renal artery calcification and also calcified the sloughed bubbly and calcified the transitional cell tumor and alkaline encrusted bilitis and encrusted calcification of ureteric stent. Also ureteric stent in the pelvis or in the calicial system can give shadowing but we see it on its uh, uh, in its length as a tubular structure. And the, also the hydronophosis will help us to see the, the back pressure effect of the stone in the 
during the ultrasound. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.